January was a really busy month for my beauty empties. I got to try several new products to me, several new brands and new types of things. And then I finished some tried and true OG favorites. I'm here to give you my reviews to see if they would fit into your beauty routine. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to click subscribe if you like project panning, makeup and skincare content and all things beauty. And make sure that your notification bell is turned on so that you don't miss any of those videos. The first thing that I want to share with you is something that I have pur purchased many, many times. My husband and I share this in the shower and it's the Dove Daily Moisture Shampoo. This one is from Sam's Club and that's always a really good benefit because we get to both use it and we used to, when we lived closer to Sam's, would use, um, for get the shampoo and the conditioner at the same time. Um, it's just sort of a workhorse product. There's not much to say about it. I do know that, you know, it's not like salon quality or whatever, but it's really great for getting something at the grocery store and I feel like it did good things to my hair and didn't feel, make it feel like stripped um, or weighed down at all. So I highly recommend that if you just kind of like a good shampoo. Another hair product that I have purchased many, many times is the Not Your Mother's Refreshing Clean Freak Dry Shampoo. I haven't tried that many dry shampoos in the past, so I'm not sure where this rates in the world of dry shampoo, but it does fine for me. I think I would like to, um, in the future, try ones that are colored so it doesn't leave that white cast because I have enough white in my hair. Um, I don't need any help from this, but I like to use this on myself and on my daughter and mostly it does a pretty good job, but I do feel like there's probably better out there as far as like absorbing the oils in your hair. So I would like to try one that is colored and just explore some different brands later on down in the future. Um, another like workhorse product, nothing super special, but something we've all got to have if you do your nails, is nail polish remover from Ulta Beauty. And this was the pure acetone remover. I'm not sure why I bought pure acetone a long time ago, but I finally finished it. And it is very drying um, on your nails, on the actual nail itself. It would leave my nails feeling very, very dry. So I definitely don't know if 100% pure acetone is the healthiest and the right thing that I need to be doing for my nails on a consistent basis. Um, so getting something more gentle in the future is definitely on the horizon for sure. I use this um, Lumi Whole Body Deodorant in the scent Toasted Coconut. I enjoy this for all of the parts that it needs to go to. Leaves them feeling fresh and clean. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. Um, Jerkins Original Scent Cherry Almond is a classic lotion. I have used numerous, numerous, numerous bottles of this throughout my lifetime. And, you know, it just has a nice, refreshing scent and Jergens is a great moisturizer. I think that there are better thicker moisturizers. If you're someone that has like super super dry dry cracked flaky skin then you're gonna need something a little thicker than this but if it's just sort of like a daily thing where you want to maintenance your skin and keep it feeling soft and plump this is a great one to try. I'm looking all around at all the different things that I have in front of me. What do I want to talk about next? I highly, highly recommend this Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer from First Aid Beauty. I love the fact that this comes in a pump. They have one that's in a, like a jar and you scoop it out and that one's really, really great, but it's way too tempting to me to like stick my finger in it because it feels like whipped cream. <laughs> um, but it's a very good moisturizer. And this also amazing, amazing hydration comes from this. My skin, when I would use this the next day, my skin would feel so plump and hydrated and looking really, really healthy. It's non-comedogenics and it's safe for sensitive skin. 
and anything from the First Aid Beauty line is going to be very gentle but potent and effective on your skin. So highly recommend if you have dry skin, especially during these winter months, this is a really, really good one for you to try out. Hopefully you like it as much as I did. Something that I thought that I liked, but I don't, I ended up not liking it as much as I thought that I would, is the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. I liked this at first. I liked the fact that it came with a scoop and the scoop could be kept inside of the jar. That was great for storage. It did a good job of removing makeup, not leaving a film on my eyes, but my issue then later came in that it stopped taking away my mascara as effectively as I wanted it to. So then I had to still go in later on with um, like a, a micellar water to take away the extra mascara on my eyes. So I felt in the end that while this might be good for people who don't put a lot of mascara on, um, this is not going to do a very good job with like waterproof mascara or multiple layers of mascara, maybe heavy, heavy eyeliner. You're going to have to be a little bit more aggressive on your eyes than you probably should be if you use this with all of those extra makeup factors involved. Another thing that I have tried this before and I thought that I really liked it, but in the end didn't like it as much as I used to, is this Mini Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I like the wand on this and I like this mascara in theory. And maybe it was the fact that it was a mini and I've tried the full size version of this, but I felt like it smudged on my lower lash line and I, I do have that problem a lot. So it may not totally be the mascara's issue. It could be also me, but I do have other mascaras I've tried that don't fledge, smudge and flake on me like this one did. While I like the volume and the length that this provides, the smudging and the flaking were, were a no-go for me. Okay, this is something that I discovered a couple of months ago and I've shared this on my channel. I've talked about this before and I finally finished a full one of the Kitsch Shave Butter as an alternative and plastic free version to a shave oil or a shaving cream. This comes in a square bar that slightly lathers, not a whole lot, and it's meant to be like a kind of a soapy alternative to shave oil, shave cream, anything in plastic. This does a wonderful job. My legs feel so smooth after I've shaved with this. And so like my skin is smooth, but also I was able to get all of the hairs. It doesn't gunk up my razor and clog it up to where things are skipping around and I'm missing sections of hair. This is a wonderful, wonderful product. I get this from Grove Collaborative. I'm sure that there may be some other places that you can get it, but that's where I first found it and first heard about it. And great. I will never, even though Tree Hut um, sells shave oil that I love, I'm going to be very, very cautious about going back to the plastic part of it just because you can't recycle the whole entire thing on those shave oils. So this is great. Highly recommend that. While we're on the Grove Collaborative products kind of pathway, I finished two things that I got from them. I did not know that Grove will give you samples, or maybe that's something new that they're trying. Um, but so every order that I do with Grove, I get like a lot of samples that you can choose. You can pick and choose. And so I got two things from Upside, Up Circle. I got the eye cream with cucumber hyaluronic acid and coffee. This is meant to firm and brighten your under eyes. I did not like this at all because it's heavily fragranced of coffee. And I like coffee, but I don't want to smell like coffee. I don't want to smell the coffee even in my breath, <laughs> you know, I don't like that part. So having this under my eyes and it kind of burned my under eyes a little bit. So this was not something that I would do. But this one, the face serum with coffee and rosehip oil, which uh, also has then a sea buck 
thorn, raspberry seed, and rose to hydrate and protect. This oil, wow. It didn't smell strongly of coffee. It smelled faintly of coffee. And then you get that rose hip seed oil um, and other sort of oils. And it smells very uh, spa-like, this does. I, I mean, and literally a little bit of this oil will do you. My face the next day continued to shine because of the hydration that this face oil provided. And I really would like to buy one of these um, when I place my next order. That may go in there. And I have also, and I've tried this in the past, but I've been getting this the past couple of times from Grove. It's the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Ar Aromatherapeutic Daily Bar Soap in the scent Rainwater. Um, I like this. The only con I will say is that it is a little stripping on your skin. So if you have normally dry skin, especially again in these winter months, that might be something you might want to stay away from because of that but I don't mind that I feel really clean when I'm done um, getting in the shower and all in all it's a lovely fresh scent I finished up two things from the set that my daughter got me for my for Christmas and uh, it was the ice rubies ice ruby berries lotion and the body scrub and this body scrub was just different I mean it wasn't a, like a little pack from Walmart but it was very thin and the sugar scrubs in it were very very small so it didn't do like really scrubby scrubby things like I wanted to um, I finished this from Dr. Bronner's it's the pure Castile um, soap that I used to wash my makeup brushes I'm not committed to any one thing to clean my brushes. Right now I'm using a face wash that I don't really like to use on my face often, like consistently. Um, so this is, it was fine. It's not, you know, anything to like write home about, but you know, it was fine. It did the job of cleaning the makeup brushes and it was good. I finished this mini from La Roche-Posay and it's their 60% SPF broad spectrum, body and face, and Filios Melt-In Milk Sunscreen. Um, while this was nice, it's very, very runny and very, very white casty. I don't think that it had a scent, like a, uh, it does have a little slight sunscreen scent to it. And so I don't really think that I would buy this because I really ultimately want to have sunscreens that I can wear by themselves or under makeup and not have to feel like I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost, when this one definitely left me feeling and looking very white. Um, so I didn't like wearing it by itself because I looked white. It was better to use it under makeup for sure. A um, hair thing that I finished was the Sun Bum Hair Mask. It is deep conditioning hair mask enriched with coconut oil, sunflower seed extract, and banana fruit extract. And it smells like summer. Mmm, very, very lovely. And this packet lasted me for like five times, at least five times with my short hair. And it did leave my hair feeling very hydrated and very smooth and shiny. So this is definitely something in the summer I think would be really fun to have because it does, you know, it is very summery kind of product. The last things that I have are three perfumes. I finished the mini Ellis Brooklyn Appraise perfume, which is a very like fur, wintry scent. I have a full size of this and it is one of my favorites. Love it, love it. Finished Marc Jacobs Daisy. I also have a full size of this. It's very um, um, <clears throat> florally and fresh, but florally in a way that I like, and florally and fruity maybe, and I enjoy that a lot. And then the last one that I finished was the Replica by the Fireplace perfume, and I would not buy this while it was fine. The smoke scent uh, within this is very, very strong and um, kind of bothered my asthma a little bit. So, may have been all in my mind, but I don't know about that so that is everything that I finished up only one makeup product but a whole bunch of other beauty things and I hope that you can take away something from 
my mini reviews. Let me know in the comments what you have used or maybe something you've thought about buying and whether or not I helped make your decision one way or the other. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.